Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we'll present class and method definitions in Faro. The specific thing about Faro is that there's no dedicated syntax for defining methods and classes. They're defined within tools. The tools give the context to the creation of a class or method. Here's the main code browser in Faro. Nautilus. You can see in the bottom part the definition of the class point. You can see that the class point has the class object as superclass and two instance variables x and y, the superclass and the two instance variables x and y. And we see at the bottom the name of the package in which this class is added. In the slides, we have code like this for creating a new subclass. We can see that to create a class in Faro, we send a dedicated message to the superclass with the name of the subclass as parameter. The message subclass, instance variable names, class variable names, package, is a message sent to the class object with the name of the subclass as parameter, the list of the instance variable names as parameter, and the name of the package as parameter. As for the method definition, we have, still in the bottom part, the name of the method, a comment, and the method's code. And the method belongs to a class. In the syntax to define the method, we have no information about the class to which the method should belong. In fact, it's the selection of the class in the code browser which tells us the class to which the method belongs. In the slides, we also need this information. So we can't just copy the content of the definition of a method. We have to add a prefix to the method name to indicate the class to which this method belongs. So we add, before the name of the method, we add the name of the class to which we're going to add the method we're defining. So, in the code browser, this class only appears as a selection in the browser. Here, we define the method factorial of the class integer. A little reminder about the messages. Here, we're defining the method factorial. We have all these binary messages equals, superior to, multiply by, and minus. Binary messages. We have a recursive call to the method factorial. Factorial here is a unary message sent to an object of a number type. And we have two keyboard messages. If true, twice, and error. And finally, we have the caret, used for returning a value and leaving the method. Regarding the return, by default in Faro, all methods return self, the current object. The code above is exactly the same as the code below, so the return self part at the end of the method is optional. Class methods let you send messages to classes. Classes are objects too, so you can send messages to classes. And to define a class method, you press the class button in Nautilus and define the class method. In the slides, we systematically add the word class to distinguish a method that'll be executed on a class rather than on an instance of the class. So here, the method x, y will be executed on the class point, not on an instance of the class point. What you should remember from this lecture. A class isn't defined by a particular syntax, but by sending a message to its superclass. Classes are defined inside packages the names of which are passed as parameters of the message. All methods are public. There's no keyword to indicate that a method is public, 
they all are. There is no notion of it being protected or private. By default, a method returns the receiver, which is self. You can use the caret to return something other than self. And class methods are methods like any other. To add them, press the button class before creating the method. This concludes the first week of lectures. In the coming weeks, we'll look in more detail at the syntax of Faro, blocks, and a tool that is an object inspector.